Hey, it's Addie, and today we are watching Die Hard for the first time. So I have never seen Die Hard before, but the main reason that we're watching it right now is because I've heard that it's a Christmas movie, or at least people swear that it is a Christmas movie. So we are here to find out once and for all if Die Hard is a Christmas movie. I, I mean, granted, I do not know a lot about Die Hard, but it just seems more like an action movie to me. Granted, I don't know a lot about it, but I, I don't know. I just wouldn't think that it would be considered a Christmas movie, but that's what we're here to find out. So this is watching Die Hard for the first time. Here we go. Wow. <laughs> Bruce Willis! You don't like flying, do you? What gives you that idea? You want to know the secret to surviving air travel? After you get where you're going, take off your shoes and your socks. Then you walk around on the rug barefoot and make fists with your toes. Trust me, I've been doing it for nine years. Yes, sir, better than a shower and a hot cup of coffee. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Aww, cute. Oh. I know times have just changed, and obviously this was a few decades ago, but it's so weird to see people smoking indoors. Alan Rickman is in this? The Professor Snape? Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and okay, gentlemen. Okay, there's a Christmas tree. Hmm. We thank you one and all and wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. <laughs> what about dinner tonight, huh? Harry, it's Christmas Eve. Families, stockings, chestnuts. Any of these things ring a bell? I was thinking more of mulled wine and ice age free. You know what I'm saying? We have some champagne. I love all the plants in this room. So fresh, so clean. Last chance. Bye. Oh. McLean Letters, Lucy McLean speaking. Oh, she is so cute. Mommy, mm -hmm. when are you coming home? Oh, okay. So this is, is Bruce Willis's family. Well, we'll see what Santa and Mommy can do, okay? Did Mr. McLean call? No, Mrs. Holly. Well, he probably just didn't have time before his flight. It might be a good idea to make up the spare bedroom just in case. See, Mrs. Holly, I do that already. <laughs> hmm. he, he's not gonna make it home for Christmas. Oh. Okay, maybe she doesn't want him home for Christmas. Okay. <laughs> hey, I'm John McClain. Our guy. I'm your limo driver. What do we do now? I was uh, hoping you could tell me. It's my first time driving a limo. <laughs> hey, it's my first time riding in one. So, uh, your lady live out here? About the past six months. Meaning you still live in New York? You always ask too many questions, Argyle. <laughs> so, you divorced? Just drive the car, man. <laughs> she beat you up? <laughs> she had a good job, turned into a great career. So now that means she had to move here. You're very fast, Argyle. Mm, and she took the kids with her to California. Okay. Well, Is that the building she works in? Okay. Because I'm a New York cop. I got a six month backlog of New York scumbags I'm still trying to put behind bars. I can't just pick up and go that easy. I thought she wasn't going to make it out here and she'd come crawling up back to you. So why bother to pack, right? <laughs> you got any Christmas music? Okay. Okay, okay. She must have a really nice job. Dang. So your lady sees you, you run into each other's arms, the music comes up, and you live happily ever after, right? I can live with that. <laughs> you score, you give me a call in the car phone. I'll take your bags to the desk. You strike out, I'll get you a hotel. Wait, that's so nice. He's such a good limo driver. Just remember that when you sign for the tip. <laughs> oh, he's just trying to make money. I don't blame him. I'm here to see Holly McLean. Just type it in there. Oh. 
I bet this was fancy at the time. Cute toy. <laughs> oh no. Is she? Oh, she's going by her maiden name, isn't she? Oh, bless. Oh, that's hard to find out. Mm hmm. Oof. Oof. The party. They're the only ones left in the building. Take the express elevator. Get off where you hear the noise. If the, the guy knew that they were the only ones left in the building, he probably could have just sent him to the 30th floor. Whatever. That guy looks a little suspicious. Big fancy party we got going on here. Merry Christmas! <laughs> Guy's happy. In the meanwhile, her office is right back here. Mm. Ooh, every time that it shows her last name, it's just like another punch to the... Punch to the... Gut? <laughs> Why can't I think straight? John. I can't tell if she was expecting him, like... She was made for the business. Tough as new. I was hoping you made that flight. He did. He did make the flight. Is there a place where I could wash up? Sure. Oh. He made it. He made it for Christmas. Where are you staying? Cappy Roberts retired out here. Oh, yeah? He told me I could bunk in with him. Cappy. Okay, so he's not staying at her house. Oh. Why don't we make it easy? I have a spare bedroom. Kids would love to have you at the house. Mm. They would, huh? I would too. Mm. Oh, sorry. I think he was planning on using his private bathroom. I missed you. I guess you didn't miss my name, though, huh? Except maybe when you're signing checks. Since when did you start using Ms. Gennaro? Oh, he brought it up right away. Okay. Okay. This truck looks like some bad news. That's a red flag. Dude, are you gonna say something? He didn't think it... I guess they could be here for the party. I just don't get good so feelings about these people. Enough, right? To magic, then back to worthy, right? Okay, so that that guy, that poor guy was just whistling earlier, just having a, making his, making the most out of his shift, and now he's dead. Okay. Oh! Oh, so Alan Rickman is the bad guy? Oh, I feel betrayed. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! This doesn't look good. Oh, so he's basically in control of everything right now. Okay, so uh, they basically have control of the building. Good. Okay, they know what they're doing. Oh, no. Oh, and Bruce Willis, who's in the building, is a cop. So he's going to end up fighting them. Okay. Convenient that he's a cop, I guess. Has experience with this. I feel like this guy's hair has looked different in every shot. Unless there are multiple blonde guys walking around. That's possible. Hey! Hey, he's doing the thing that the airplane guy said. Son of a bitch. I hope it's working. I hope it's working because he certainly needs a little bit of that right now. Where are you? I'm kicking it down the garage. What's the world with you and your lady, man? <laughs> he's just living his best life. Obviously, this guy has a system in place. Our guy? <laughs> Back there? Hello? 
Okay, so they're not exactly on the same wavelength right now. Ah, the party's on the 30th floor. No! <laughs> no! Oh, this is, this is scary, and they're all drunk. They're all intoxicated. This is gonna be great. This is going to be just grand. No one just noticed that people with guns? Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, I'd say they're noticing right now. I'm glad he has a gun on him. But they have very large guns and he has a very small gun. Oh, oh. Okay, bad time to be um getting frisky right now. Bad timing. He doesn't even have shoes on. Uh, he's having to run away these, from these people without shoes. Ah. Okay, so they're on like all of the levels. Stay calm. Everything's gonna be fine. Everything's gonna be fine. Shit. That's what they were doing. They were making it so that the telephones don't work. I see. I see. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, due to the Nakatomi Corporation's legacy of greed around the globe, they're about to be taught a lesson in the real use of power. Oh. Enough. And oh, he's going to turn himself in, and then they're going to shoot him. Uh... Nice suit. John Phillips, London. I have two myself. Uh, they're on all of the levels. So it is now Bruce Willis against all of them. This team of however many people they have. This is just grand. Okay. Ooh, what is this floor? Okay. This is cool. I believe you. And my associate Theo has some questions for you. Sort of fill in the blanks questions, actually. This poor guy is probably about to die as soon as he gives them the information. But I need what the code key. Because I am interested in the six hundred and forty million dollars in negotiable bearer bonds that you have locked in oh. your vault. Okay, that makes sense. He wants money. He is single-handedly going to have to do all of this. The code, please. Ah, uh, he has no choice. Useless to you. Going to count to three. He's One. sweating. Poor guy. Boo. There won't be a four, bud. Yeah. I don't know it. I'm telling you. You're just gonna have to kill He's He is going okay. to kill him. Ah! No, no, no. Holy. Hmm. So no expense was spared with um the blood. Okay. Now, you can break the code. He didn't bring me along for my charming personality. <laughs> But we did be bring. Mm, <laughs> Why can't I talk today? Start that over. We did bring you along for that cool sweater. I like this guy. He's just hanging out with that bear, keeping it company. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I guess they are, maybe they're surrounding the vault. I'm trying to break into it. Oh, I'd say that's the vault. Why the fuck didn't you stop him, John? Cause then you'd be dead too, asshole. Yeah, that's true. If he would have stopped them, uh, they would have all been dead if he had stopped them. Uh, and then they'd have no hope! Mmm, that could work. We've got a fire alarm. Call 911. Give them the guard's name, the building code number, and cancel the alarm. Then disable the system. Yes. Oh, 
baby, come to Papa, come on. I don't think they're going to come all the way there. I don't think that's going to happen. They're going to call them off. And they really need to get to that building. Ah, ah, that's not good. You better hide. Johnny better hide. He does not have a lot of places to hide. Be called off, my friend. No one is coming to help you. He's behind that that, right? Ah! I promise I, like I won't this. hurt you. No, no, I don't think that's the case. I think he will hurt you. I think he will kill you. <laughs> ah! Yes! You a little liar? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's not very nice to say that you won't hurt someone when you're about to kill them. Ah. Drop it, dickhead. Ha! Huh. Huh. Police. There are rules for policemen. Yeah. That's what my captain keeps telling me. But I feel like all of that gunfire will alert the other bad guys to come to his aid. Oh, ow. Yo, yeah, yeah, I think this guy is dead. I need oh. a terrace in the world and I gotta kill one with feet smaller than my sister. Huh. I guess it would have been very convenient for them to have the same shoe size. They can't have that. Hi, Santa. I wanted this to be professional. Efficient, adult, cooperative, not a lot to ask. <laughs> he, is he just eating their food? I mean, I bet it's good. I don't blame him. It's kind of cruel. You can walk out of here or be carried out. But have mm. no illusions. We are in charge. Uh. Uh. Get them back. Oh, he sent a message. Okay. Now I have a machine gun. She knows who it is. Now I have a machine gun. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Oh! <laughs> when he saw Santa, it gave him the idea. <laughs> to tell Carl his brother is dead. Tell him to come down. Out of sight. I don't want the hostages to think too much. Best it is at the answer when it comes to the door. Mmm, and the elevator. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Squished? Oh, he might get ah ah okay he was close to getting squished okay but he's good we're good we're great right now I am glad he has a I guess heavier duty gun than what he had before that is helpful in this scenario oh poor bad guy we do not alter the plan. And if he alters it. It's a beautiful view. I will say that. Mayday, mayday. Anyone copying Channel 9? Terrorists have seized the Nakatomi building and are holding That's up not people hostage. That's not good. The roof. Go, go! Uh-oh. They're on their way! Attention, whoever you are, this channel is reserved for emergency calls only. The f lady, do I sound like I'm ordering a pizza? <laughs> no one kills him but me. They have already killed one hostage. They are fortifying their positions while you're jerking me off on the radio. Please just send the police now. <laughs> ah! Ah! Okay, they're right there. They're right there. Sir? If there's a black and white that can do a drive by. Is he okay? Is, is this the guy who's going to be doing the drive by? This is 8 leak and 30. Come on in, over. Investigate a code 2 at Nakatomi Plaza, Century City. Mm. I'm on my way. Oh no, no! He's coming from behind! He's behind you! He's behind you! Ah, 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 ah. Whew, that was close.
close. Okay, that was close. So you better run. Oh, way, please. He's going to run out of ammo soon, right? <laughs> what is he going to do from here? What you gonna do, sir? Oh, those knuckles are bloody. Oh, I hope that strap holds. But also, you kind of need that gun. Oh, it's about to fall. Oh, it's about to fall. Ah. Oh, oh, gosh. <laughs> okay. I don't know how in the world he just grabbed that ledge. Oh. Oh, the lighter is coming in handy. Looky there. Oh my gosh. Okay, he still has the small gun. Okay, good. Good. Oh, that was close. Wow, oh, he's still barefoot through all of this. Gotta get you some shoes. I would feel much better about this entire situation if he just had some shoes. Oh, poor guy. I wonder where they moved his body. Not that it matters, because he's dead. No signs of disturbance, dispatch. 8030, roger. Possible. Call. Check the area again and confirm. He needs to hear gunfire. Evening, officer. What can I do for you? Hmm. Don't like that guy. <laughs> mm, yeah. Yeah, the bad guys are definitely going to hear that and know exactly where he is. Uh. Ah, ah, ah. Ah, okay. Another another person dead. Another person dead. Is it possible to hear gunshots from like 30 floors away? Because that would be nice. Oh, the hell with this. No more table. <laughs> no more table. You have a chance to kill someone. Don't hesitate. Okay. Ah. Okay. Wow. Oh yeah. I don't think he hesitated. I don't think he hesitated at all. Who? Oh, the weather outside is frightful. Dum da dum, delightful. <laughs> Those are the lyrics. That's it. Come on. Does he need to shoot at the police car? Would that work? It making 30 to dispatch. 830, go ahead. Yeah, that's a wild goose chase over here at no, Nakatomi Plaza. No, it's not Plaza. a wild goose chase. Everything is okay. Everything's not okay. Snow, let it snow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not a wild Welcome goose chase. Welcome to the party, pal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, sir, you need backup. We need a lot of backup. This guy is still just living his best life, has no idea that any of this is happening. Ah! Ha! 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 I think he needs a new car right now, too. In the star, repeat, officer needs assistance. At I'm in Nakatomi Plaza, they're turning my car into Swiss cheese! <laughs> turning my car into Swiss cheese. Thank goodness we finally have some backup. I mean, I don't know what they can do right now, but at least we have them. I thought I told all of you I want radio silence until oh, further... I'm very sorry, Hans. <laughs> Here I figured you and Carl and Franco might be a little lonely, so I wanted to give you a call. This is very kind of you. You are most troublesome for a security guard. <clears throat> sorry, Hans, wrong guess. Who are you, then? The fly in the ointment, Hans. The monkey in the wrench. The pain in the ass. You know my name, but who are you? 
No. Just another American who saw too many movies as a child. He can't give his name, though. I was always kind of partial to Roy Rogers, actually. Do you really think you have a chance against us, Mr. Cowboy? Mm. yippee ki motherfucker. He wasn't lying about Marco. He's down on the street. And his bag is missing. He had to detonate it. Mmm. I think they need that. They're well financed and very slick. I've seen enough phony IDs in my time to recognize that the ones they got must have cost a fortune. Mmm. So light him if you got him. Way ahead of you, partner. I think that John probably needs to move to California and join their team. And then he would be with his family. What do these pricks want? Well, if you mean the terrorists, sir, we don't exactly know. Well, who in the hell have you been talking to? We don't know that either, sir. He won't give us his name, but he appears to be the one who phoned in the report. Well, has it occurred to you he could be one of the terrorists pulling your chain? Oh, that's true. Oh, that's true. It does look bad from the outside. I have a request. What idiot put you in charge? You did, when you murdered my boss. Oh. Go on. Oh, he's literally sitting at her desk. Was there something else? No, thank you. I'm really glad that she put that picture frame down. Oh my goodness. Mr. Wait. Takagi chose his people well, Mrs. I'm really glad Gennaro. that she did that. Miss Gennaro. And I'm also really glad that she's now going by her maiden name. Like, this is all very convenient. They can't link the two of them together or she will be dead. <laughs> People are dying here and he is concerned with some rose bushes. Oh my gosh. Is he gonna get some candy? <laughs> yep. <laughs> it was the night before Christmas and all through the house not a creature was stirring except four assholes coming in the rear in standard two by two cover formation. Yeah, that's how the poem goes. That's it. They're gonna die. They're shooting at him. They're shooting at the lights. Yep, he's right. Obviously, obviously! Why won't they listen to this one cop? Ugh. I feel like that's probably dangerous to just throw that around. I see him! Oh, Bruce Willis better stop them before this happens. Ready, oh my god, the quarterback is toast. Hit it again. Again? Okay, you made your point, let him pull back! Hit it again. Oh, he has no choice. He has to intervene. And he still doesn't have shoes. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy, old pal. Fire. Oh, it, yeah, they were right. It's literally toast. It is some burnt toast. Oh, gosh. He really likes um climbing through elevator shafts. Is he going to, I guess he's blowing up that floor? That's what he's about to do. He's about to send them a little present. How cute. How fun. He sends messages. He sends presents. He's just pretty kind. He's better with it. Wow. Yeah, move, move, buddy. Is the building on fire? No, but it's gonna need a paint job and a shitload of screen doors. Yeah, you can say that again. You listen to me, you little asshole. I'm a asshole. I'm not the one who just got butt on national TV, Dwayne. Ooh. <laughs> Hope I'm not interrupting. Yeah, yeah, he's about to die. You're being stupid. 
no, no. Oh, no. He's going to tell, he's going to tell him that the guy is her husband, her husband, Sean. It's obvious you're not some dumb schmuck and up then here he's to snatch die. a few and then purses, am I right? I figure you're here to negotiate, am I right? You're amazing. You figured this all out already. You use a gun, I use a fountain pen. What's the difference? Hans, I'm your white knight. Mm -mm. Don't do it. Don't tell them. Don't. <clears throat> I can give them to you. No. Why would you do that? When John is literally saving you and he's your only chance of surviving this. How many kids you got, Al? Well, as a matter of fact, my wife is working on our first. Aw. Wait, so he can't... He has to survive. Mr. McLean. No, he knows Mr. Now. Officer. John McLean. Sister Teresa called me Mr. McLean in third grade. My friends call me John. You're neither shithead. What an asshole. Hey, oh. John boy. Oh, he's the worst. I hope he dies. I hope he dies. I hope he dies now. Mm -hmm. I know you think you're doing your job, John, and I can appreciate that, but you're just dragging this thing out. Ellis, what have you told them? I told them we were old friends and you were my guest at the party. Ellis, no. you shouldn't be doing this. Tell me about it. Huh? They want the detonators or they're going to kill me. They're about to kill Ellis, me. listen to me very carefully. John. Shut up, Ellis. Just shut your mouth. Jesus Christ, Ellis. These people are going to kill you. Tell them you don't know me. John. John. Yeah, Ellis, you're about to die. You got yourself in a bad situation. Mm. Mm. Yeah, well, he shouldn't have done that in the first place. He really screwed himself over on that one. Listen, you tell this partner of yours, pal, to stay the hell out of this from now on, you hear me? Because if he doesn't, I'm gonna nail him, boy. I'm really gonna nail his ass now. Mm, are you? Anytime you want to go home, you consider yourself dismissed. No, sir. You couldn't drag me away. Mmm. He's invested now. Theo, are we on schedule? One more to go, then it's up to you. And you better be right. Oh, I... <laughs> so much has happened that I forgot that they are still trying to drill into this vault. Hey, pal, you out there? I'm here, John. You gotta believe me, there's nothing I could do. Well, it's gonna be both our asses if you're wrong. I hear you. Hey, how you doing, man? I'm Agent Johnson. This is Special Agent Johnson. Oh, how you doing? No relation. <laughs> I'm Dwayne Robinson, LAPD. I'm in charge here. Not anymore. Yeah! I feel like he should probably keep that gun on him. But I'm not telling the bad guys what to do. They're fine on their own. Uh-oh. Ooh, uh-oh! And we know it's Bruce because he doesn't have shoes on. How you doing? Kill him now. Just kill him. Please, God, no. You're one of them, aren't you? You're one of them. What? No, no, no. What is he doing? Don't kill me, don't kill me, please, please. Oh, he's just trying to make closer to his gun. Relax, he just I'm not gonna hurt in. you. Yeah. I'm not gonna hurt you. No. No, no, he's a bad guy. He's the main bad guy. No. Uh, I was just trying to get up on the roof and see if I could signal for help, you know. It's just from here. Why, do, why don't you come no, in? No, his gun is right over there. His gun is right there. No. No. Come on, you want to stay alive, you stay with me. And now he's seen him face to face and he recognizes him from the photo. No. Thanks. I'm a cop from New York. Got invited to the Christmas party by mistake. Who knew? <laughs> yeah. Better me call your pants down, huh? I'm John McClain. Clay. Bill Clay. Mmm. Don't give him a gun. No! Not the real no. thing, Bill. No! Please don't. No, 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 no. He's going All to shoot you. I got this right pull the trigger. The stock there. Compt. He knows. He knows. Okay. Okay. This was set up. Good. Thank 
goodness. Okay, okay, okay. He knew what he was doing. He knew what he was doing. Thank goodness. And give me my detonators. Oh, well, well. Hans, it's pretty tricky with that accent. You ought to be on fucking TV with that accent. <laughs> I'm going to count to three. Yeah. Like you did with Takagi. Oops. No bullets. Good. Ah, now there's all of them. Oh, jeez. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> his kneecaps oh his kneecaps oh oh my gosh oh that was very gruesome shoot the glass oh because he's barefoot oh crap oh that's not good ah john are you okay John. My man John. Good old Johnny boy. God, that man looks really this... pissed. Yeah, you could say that. That guy really is not happy. Only John can drive somebody that crazy. <laughs> she would know. Oh, yes, he did. Oh, my gosh, his poor feet. Oh, his poor feet. <laughs> hey, pal. You got flat feet? Something had to get you off the street. What's the matter? You don't think jockeying in papers across a desk is a noble effort for a cop? No. I shot a kid. <laughs> he was 13 years old. You know, when you're a rookie, they can teach you everything about being a cop except how to live with a mistake. <laughs> Sorry, man. Hey, man, how could you know? I feel like shit anyway. They're ordering the others to cut the building's power. Regular mm. as clockwork. Is that what they need to happen? And then they can get the into the circuits vault? circuits that cannot be cut are cut automatically in response to a terrorist incident. I got a big problem down here. Shut it down. Shut it down now. They got it shut off. It's gonna go. So that's what they wanted. Wow. That's what they wanted, and that's what they needed a, the whole time. Like he said, just like clockwork. Okay, this whole scene makes me think that it is a Christmas movie with this playing in the background. Merry Christmas to them! This is Special Agent Johnson of the FBI. The State Department has arranged for the return of your comrades. Helicopters are en route as you requested. What? What? I want you to do something for me. I want you to find my wife. Don't ask me how, by then you'll know how. I want you to tell her something. I want you to tell her that. Um, tell her it took me a while to figure out. Ah, uh, what a jerk I've been. I should have. Been more supportive. I just should have been behind her more. Tell her that um, that she is the best thing that ever happened to a bum like me. Mm. She's heard me say I love you a thousand times. She never heard me say I'm sorry. Mm. And I want you to tell her that, Al. I want you to tell her that uh, John said that he was sorry. You let me in right now, or I call the INS. Comprende? <gasps> That's so mean of him. That's so rude. Ah. Pal, pal, listen to me. It's a double cross. The whole roof of the building fired. <laughs> That's really not good. This, this fight is going really well. Very important people. They're very brave people. Come home. Oh, he, 
figured it out. Not us to make your acquaintance. That's not good at all. Oh, poor John. Okay, there's a gun. That's helpful. That would be nice to get your hands on. Oh my gosh. McLean. I'm a little busy right now. No! He can't have the gun. No! John needs the gun. Oh! Did, did he get shot? Huh! I think John was shot. Nice! Come on, John. All your little speeches. You're nothing but a common thief. I am an exceptional thief, Mrs. McLean. And since I'm moving up to kidnapping, you should be more polite. Hmm. If they don't kill each other. Uh. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's how he's going to kill him. Oh my gosh. Oh! Okay. Oh, John, what the f are you doing? <laughs> Great question. Excellent question. Come on. Mm. I feel like that knot is not very tight. Oh my gosh. Oh, his feet. That's a way to break through a window. Okay, that works. Um, more glass. More glass. Holy. <laughs> that was close. <coughs> Excuse me. Not the Christmas tree. All right, let's go. Okay. <laughs> Good job. Good job, kid. Nice. Hands! Still alive. Heck yeah. That light behind him makes this look really cool. So that's what this is all about? Put down the gun. Put down the gun. Mine, this is mine. You got me. By this time, John Wayne does not walk off into the sunset with Grace Kelly. This Gary Cooper asshole. You made a pretty good cowboy yourself, Hans. Yippee Kaye, motherfucker. <laughs> 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 oh. My God! <gasps> Do you fall out that window? Oh! Oh my gosh! Is he still holding on to her? Holy crap! Oh my gosh! He still has the gun in his hand. I'd say he's dead. dead. <gasps> okay. Oh, he's so bloody. Ugh. Wow. Okay. Aw. Officer Powell. Aw. We're gonna be friends for life. I hope. Oh yeah, they're definitely friends for life. Best buddies. Officer Powell was the one man who believed in John. Oh. That's a bonding experience right there. Near death. Very bonding. Uh, oh. <laughs> that was my wife, Holly. Holly Janeiro. Holly Hello. Oh, she introduced herself with his name. What? How is he still alive? What? What? Is that Officer Powell? I bet he did that. Right? Heck yeah! I was right! Because he said he would never be able to shoot someone again. But he did it to protect his friend John. 
No, he's good. He's good. We're good. We're good. <laughs> Is he going to take them home? Mr. McClain, now that it's all over after this incredible ordeal, what are your feelings? <laughs> this is their idea of Christmas. I gotta be here for New Year's. <laughs> Aww. They're in love! I like how in the credits, it separates the terrorists. That was Die Hard! We made it! We made it through! That's a good movie. That's solid. And I... So yes, it's an action movie. But now I see why people consider it Christmas. And I do feel like there's a lot of Christmas music throughout. And the setting definitely has a lot of Christmas trees. So it does get me in a Christmas spirit. So maybe... So I can see why people would want to watch this at Christmas time. But let me know how you feel about it. If you think of it's a Christmas movie, drop it in the comments. Because I still don't know. I still don't know how I feel. But I do know that that's a good movie. Wow. Wow. How Christmassy. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. And we will see you next time.